Hey y'all, hi from Texas. For all you Afrikaners, hello, Hundit, by Valkom. I see this place on Texas. And I was going to make a video about Father's Day because it's coming up. And um, I've decided to change the subject <laughs> because, damn it, I can. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get the hang of making YouTube videos. It's a lot of fun, and I'm going to be playing with effects, just a heads up. So if you see crazy colors or captions or words or lots of screw-ups, that's probably why. But I was going to talk about Father's Day because it's coming up soon, and um, it's a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. But I'll do that next time. This time, I'm going to talk about roommates and their stinky, stupid, smelly pets. <laughs> uh, two of which I am smelling right now. Um, I don't know about y'all, I have wonderful roommates, they're great, but they come with baggage. I'm gonna rant about the stinky, smelly ones. And a great example of stinky, smelly pets are ferrets. To me, they look like rats. But one of my roommates, God, bless them, but man, they never play with the ferrets. They just sit in their cage and poop. So the whole upstairs smells like ferret poo. And I don't want to clean it up. I always clean it up. It, they're not my pets. Why should I have to clean it up? But every time I come into this room, what am I greeted with? Poo. Poo. Ferret poo. Yay. So, Hey, roommates, to the many out there that are awesome, except for your stupid, smelly pets, please clean the ferret poo. Here, I'll even write it down. There you go. Please clean the ferret poo. You, clean it. So, here's a poem just for you. Hey, roommate, you're awfully grand. But your stinky, stupid pet makes a smell I just can't stand. Please remedy the situation before I get mad. Or I may start throwing things. That could be bad. Please make some little kids dream of having a pet of their own come true. It's either the pet, me, or you. Obviously, I don't have a future in poetry. But I think it got the point across. 